Hi, my name's Captain Ty, and I work on a 65 meter fed ship called Callisto. And today I'm gonna to answer some questions for YPI crew. Something that I look for when I'm interviewing crew uh, is definitely attitude and presentation. Um, the rest you can deal with afterwards, but if someone doesn't have the right attitude when they rock up for an interview, and if they're not presented well, for me, um, they're two pretty much massive red flags. Um, I'm really impressed um, when people can converse properly in an interview and not be uh, shut down by their nerves or, or, or being intimidated by being on a massive yacht for the first time. If they can just run a conversation and um, talk to me properly, uh, that's one of the things that um, gets me through an interview because interviews aren't easy for the interviewer or the interviewee. So uh, that's, that helps the interview go more like a conversation as opposed to sitting there and asking someone lots of questions. Some red flags for me when interviewing or looking at someone's CV is a poorly written CV sticks out to me straight away. Grammar, spelling mistakes, bad photos. I just can't believe when someone puts a horrible photo on their CV and of course bad presentation. Someone needs to come looking the part. I'd have to say um, my cruising around Australia has been fantastic. It is my, my home cruising ground, so to speak. Um, I've cruised up in the Kimberley Coast in Australia, which is some of the most beautiful cruising I've done. Um, French Polynesia, the contrast between mountainous, dense islands and then, you know, our coral atolls, um, all in one, all in one area. Some of the most beautiful cruising I've done. Croatia, um, some of the easiest, which is crazy to think, but some of the easiest cruising I've done. There's so many islands to hide away. Every island you go to, uh, there's so much protection, so much natural beauty. Um, the weather stays pretty good all, all, all the time you're there. Um, and um, just how old and beautiful it is. Yeah, Croatia definitely sticks out in my mind. And the people, of course. <laughs>I mean, besides the obvious um, of making sure the boat is clean and tidy, I, I don't need to worry too much about that because I've got excellent crew and they, each department, I don't need to micromanage. I've got excellent heads of department, so they make sure that everything's clean and tidy and everything's done in that respect. The biggest things you gotta make sure was for charters is provisioning um, preferences. So knowing what each charter guest wants, that's a big, takes a long time before each charter. A big one is also the engine room, making sure that the boat's going to work for the duration of the charter. That's huge. Any sort of um, uh, discrepancies or um, non-conformities that we need to sort out before the, the charter guests come on board. The itinerary needs to be perfectly planned um, and thought out according to the guests' um, wishes and demands. You know, whether it's the first or the 50th time they've chartered a yacht, um, essentially they're paying for the holiday of a lifetime. Um, you know, every single time uh, we go into a, uh, a, an anchorage uh, port or other destination, um, we really need it to be a wow factor. Um, and that's absolutely what we strive in every way. Um, AVIT massive. It's amazing when, when people come on board, they wanna make sure that even though they're out in the middle of the Pacific, um, they want to make sure they can still watch TV and watch a movie when they want to, if the weather goes bad, um, that kind of stuff. Music, making sure that that all works. Um, making sure that the engines are going to turn on when they want to go from one anchorage to another is really important. Um, and uh, obviously, talking to the chefs, making sure they're all onto the food, making sure that the food is excellent. So there's quite a lot to sort out before a charter, but I'd say the most important thing in, in in my eyes is making sure that when they when they want to move, I can turn the boat on and we can take the boat to sea.